debris from Mersin Kamal has removed the England captain. He's showing the way it deviated off the seam. Gatting knows what happened to it. It's pegged back the off stump. 133 for two in this, the 54th over. Gatting seemed to have everything under control, but this one coming right through the gate and knocking him over absolutely comprehensively bold. And the well-deserved wicket by Kamal. Getting bowled by Motion Kamal for 42, 81. It's out. LBW. It was a good delivery. The first two went away from him. The last one came back. It came back in the air, I think. A good delivery from Motion Kamal. Hard lines for Neil Fairbrother, but a triumph for Pakistan. Good piece of bowling by Kamal, Neil Fairbrother, completely deceived by the line. There was a shout there, but the umpire didn't need to give him out. Tim Robinson walking off. Bounced a long hop almost down the leg side, and he swung around, folded it round, and probably just got a slight bottom edge, or I think, or a glove, something like that. And it really is a marvellous comeback for him after that very torrid time he had in the West Indies he wasn't the only one 19 minutes and two fours and he's gone good catch by Shahid Mohammed Embury's favourite stroke the one away on the offside cracking the ball through point or cover has been his undoing on this occasion Shahid Mohammed fingers strapped and plastered Managed to cling on to it and took a good catch. 413. But the match should run for a long boundary there at the top. Well, he's been given out. I won't say that uh, he's going with any great amount of alacrity. The wicketkeeper fumbled and then uh, leapt about as uh, he did on many occasions at Old Trafford. Robinson has been uh, required to go by the umpire standing at the nursery end. This is one of the embarrassing moments when the batsman wasn't looking at the moment he was given out. Uh, he certainly hasn't looked at the umpire. Robinson took his... Up goes the finger. The batsman turned the other way. When he turned back, finger was down again so he didn't go had to be given out again and that's out got and ball a good catch the bowler running through the ball it back pretty firmly above his head but he caught it quite cleanly without any problems at all and that's David Capel gone but he can be justly proud of his efforts in his first test match. You can see David Capel's dismissal again. Going to drive it, not giving it the full treatment, but he hit it pretty hard. And that's not an easy catch when you're bowling pretty quick and running through when the ball comes back a foot to 18 inches above your head. So pretty good catch there by Kamal. So England now 133 for eight and really in pretty serious trouble now here at Headingley. And there's a shout for that, and uh, Philip Evans not looking at the umpire. Just a little outside edge as it moved away, and Youssef doing the rest. So England now in real trouble. Kamal pitching this one a little bit further up. Very little foot movement by Edmonds, and a straightforward nick through to the keeper. England 133 for nine. Most in Kamal coming into Neil Foster. And that's out. <coughs> Neil Foster caught it slip. 
by uh, Salim Malay. Malay. And uh, that's the third wicket there for Kamal. So he's had a good little spell at the end there, picking up three wickets very quickly indeed. Mersin Kamal getting the ball well up. And at the second attempt, Salim Malik just clutching onto that one. Gone. Madassa, good catch too. It went at terrific pace. More at backward point than gully. Motion Kamal takes the wicket and both of them is gone. England 160 for seven. Joy for Pakistan supporters and not for England's because now it's a question of can England take the game into the fourth day. Both them hit that with tremendous power. Motion Kamal has claimed his wicket.